Hi, I'm Dean Slider here with Unplug. I've been teaching meditation, believe it or not, I can't believe it, since 1970. And today we're going to be meditating on the timeless inner I. So let's sit comfortably, maybe loosen up the body, however it feels it needs to be loosened, and we can close the eyes. Sit easily, comfortably. And let's take a nice, long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. And then open the mouth and release it with a deep, satisfying sigh. And again. And one more. And then just let the breath take care of itself. Let everything take care of itself. So you might be aware of sounds coming and going, including this voice. And just notice that the sounds come and go all by themselves. You've got no role to play. You're just aware of them. You might be aware of sensations thoughts, feelings, and they all come and go by themselves. You're just the one that's aware of them. You're the witness to them. Not trying to hold on to anything or push anything away, not trying to give anything any special significance. It all just comes and goes on its own. We just remain as the awareness of it, the silent witness to it. And now allow yourself to remember something from childhood. Whatever pops up is fine. Maybe your seventh birthday, blowing out the candles on the cake, or maybe a favorite place you like to go to feel happy, or, or when you felt upset somewhere that you would go to hide and be alone. Doesn't matter, whatever comes to mind. And you may find yourself recalling what it felt like to be in that little five or seven or eight year old body. What emotions you had, not trying to particularly dredge anything up, just whatever you happen to recall. What things were urgently important to you. So all of these were the things that you were aware of at this young age. But please notice that there's a sense of the awareness itself, the silent awareness that was the silent witness of your, say, seven or eight-year-old body, seven or eight-year-old experience. And notice that that's exactly the same silence, the same awareness that's aware of your experiences today, whatever age you are today. And now let's allow ourselves to recall when you were, let's say, 17, maybe in your senior year of high school. You would look down through your eyes, look down at your body. Now it's a very different body from the one you had when you were seven. Your voice is different. The things you think about, the things that are urgently important to you, your attitudes. 
And these are things we tend to identify with. We say, oh, I used to be a happy-go-lucky little kid, now I'm a cynical teenager, or, or whatever. But notice that it was the same one who looked through those seven-year-old eyes, and now the same one, the same silent witnessing awareness, looking through the 17-year-old eyes, and the same one that's you today. So everything changes. Everything we're aware of changes. Everything we think of as I changes, except this silent witnessing awareness. It doesn't get shorter or taller. It's not thinner or thicker. It's not younger or older because it has no qualities no characteristics. It's the witness of all the changing qualities and characteristics that make up our life. It's like a mirror that's no color, yet it reflects all the colors that are put in front of it. So now let's just rest in this colorless, qualityless, timeless, ageless I, which we are. Not trying to make anything happen. We don't have to because this is what we are. This is the silent witnessing awareness that has been present in every moment of our life. It's the only thing that's present in every moment of our life. Silently in the background. So we just, for once, relax our grip on everything in the foreground and relax back into this timeless I. Letting everything else come and go as it comes and goes, like the colors dancing on the surface of the mirror. Nothing affects the mirror, nothing changes it. Just resting as timeless, awareness, the timeless I. and slowly open the eyes. So as you continue to meditate, as your contact, your conscious recognition of this timeless, silent, witnessing eye gets stronger and clearer in meditation, you may notice it starting to percolate into the other 23 and a half hours of the day, starting to sort of come out of the background. And this is when meditation really starts to change your life. And this is when it starts to become really interesting and really fun. So enjoy.